Hey guys. So it's been a pretty lean month of fishing, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of the highlights of the last few weeks, pretty much of uh, what I've been catching. I haven't really caught anything amazing, so it's been hard to get a uh, get a video together um, without the payoff fish, if you like. So yeah, you just accumulate a lot of footage, and I want to get rid of it. Seasons are changing, and um, sort of start afresh. So I'm just getting all my gear ready now. I'll be out tomorrow morning. Uh, give it another bash. Gonna try a few soft plastics and things, and throw a bit of squid, whatever. It's been very hard to catch bait for the last couple of months as well. There's been no squid around. Can't catch yakkers. So yeah, gonna use a bit of uh, packet squid bought from BCF. Just getting the gear sorted out, being doing a little bit of maintenance, oiling things up. Um, yeah, just getting organised. I thought I'd show you my rod holder. Whipped that up out of a piece of styrofoam box. Drilled some holes in the top. Cut that out. Store bits underneath. Keep all my gear there. Um, yeah. It's all my extra. It's just a bit of chaos, organised chaos. Most of these squid jigs, I just find them on the beach. <laughs> They just seem to wash up around here, so accumulating squid jigs. Um, but yeah, just been oiling up the uh, reels, cleaning any sand and things off. Didn't need too much. Um, been cleaning up these old pen reels. Been carrying these around for probably 25 years. Um, never really been using them. I'm still a month away from my boat. Scott bringing my boat down from Queensland. So I'll definitely be uh, probably trolling lures and things using these. But yeah, they cleaned up a treat. Um, I think this reel Scott caught a golden trevally in cans, yeah, 20, 27 years ago, I think. And that was probably the last fish that was caught on that. Got this one as well. What is it? That's how you treat a reel. Uh, what is it? Pen 310 GTI Graphite. Made in USA. I don't think they make pen reels in the USA anymore. That's made in USA as well. Um, they're, they're like new. They're as old as they are. So I'll use them. They still work fine. Um, yeah. So yeah, just getting organised. Anyway, here's the last few weeks of fishing. And yeah, hopefully start afresh. Okay, on. Not too big. Let's be changed lures. I've got an old uh, morning tide frother lure on with the bib cut off it, and that's got them straight on. I'm actually going to keep that one for uh, bait. I'll put him out of his misery. He can go. And yeah, it's the old morning tide. I cracked the bib, so yeah, I ground that off. Still works. Nice. Anyway, I'll dispose of him, get back to it. Basically, I'm just going to pepper this area. The kingfish, they're always, well, they seem to always be running up right up hard against the ledge. And then I'm seeing them down at the point there as they cruise on out, probably get through there. Um, so yeah, it's gonna work this whole area basically. No. Okay. Putting in the cast. Seen nothing yet. Yeah, I've flogged the hell out of that lure, nothing's happened. Just gonna change over. Something else on. Oh, yep. 
Oh, whole school of fish. Come on. I don't know if that was salmon or what it was. Yep. Oh, big salmon. Nice. Um, I'll be keeping him, he's going to be bait as well. I'm trying to store a bit of bait. Uh, so that was awesome. Alright, fish on. Doesn't feel too big. What have we got? Trevally. School of those down there, I'd say. Feel too bad this fish. Assuming it's a salmon. Doesn't shake this off. Gonna be coming for bait. That was lucky. <laughs> yep. Pick him up. Come here. Nice. 